Oh, this is great, Simon. We're having a chance to look at the pictures you shot yesterday for the first time. And we really got some nice stuff here. Uh, it's just, it's beautiful. It's sharp. It's right on him. And, uh, you know, as he comes forward, you know, we get some more sharp frames. So it's, it's clear that it's, that it's working. Uh, I think the next one is the one. Yeah, that one, we can crop that a little bit. That's a cool shot. And think about it. You know, you, you crop this a little bit like that. It's a 16 million pixel file. I mean, you got enough information there that you could right. crop that, and that could still be a double page spread if it had to be. You know, you were on it. One of the things that we think photographers are going to find with this camera is that it's not just a great sports camera, although obviously it's the highest performance digital SLR in the world at 10 frames a second. Uh, but with 16 million pixels, you've got a camera generating nearly a 50 megabyte file. And you know, every image that's produced in the magazine from me, you know, I want it to look the, the best possible. The 10 million pixel image out of the 1D Mark III camera was always regarded as very good. Another thing, too, is that uh, for, for high-end magazine work, like the work you do for Sports Illustrated and what some other photographers are doing, uh, we're going from a 10 million pixel camera to a 16 million pixel camera, which is enough of an increase in resolution that I, you'll, you'll see a difference in the amount of detail right. captured. But, you know, this offers even more. What's, what does it mean to you? Well, I think, you know, any photographer wants the highest possible quality. So, again, this is just another step up the, of the ladder. All I have to worry about when I'm working with Sports Illustrated is getting the greatest image that I can possibly get.